you know, and you may do 200, 300, 400 pages, whatever. And when you turn that into a book, well, I'll, you just go, well, I'll use this, I'll use that, and put this together, you know, mix and match. But at the end of the day, you've got all the raw data there to create a book. If you haven't, and if you're not writing it down, then, you know, what have you got to work with? I think there's a question in the front row here. The front row. Shalu and uh, Goetje. Uh, now that you've discovered your roots, sort of, yeah, not fully probably, you know, uh, what would you want to do next? Do you want to be, continue to be writers? Do you want to, what would you want to do next? Um, well, I, I'm continuing to, I'm a journalist. I used to work for a newspaper in Philadelphia, so I'm continuing my um, reporting on uh, issues related to gender and immigration. I am thinking of a, a next book project um, which might be a biography of the former president and first lady of, of Guyana, Janet Jagan, um, that would sort of be told as an American Cold War story because um, uh, the Kennedy administration was heavily involved in, in sort of the destabilizing of her party and her husband's party. I'm not too sure. Um, I've, I've been asked a lot. Um, we, they'd like to sort of hear the back end of the book, sort of about you know my personal self from being a child and growing up, to the way that I think about things, the way that I tackle combat situations, the way that I think about you know social aspects and you know, political aspects and stuff like that, and and, and oneself. So um, it'd be a very interesting book if I did write another book, and you know more to the back end because what you read now when you buy the book um, is is just my odyssey of what had happened from when I was a child to you know when I landed in Australia and uh, reuniting with my family. Um, but you know it takes it takes a bit of time writing books and um, it takes a lot of energy too. Um, and at the moment I'm sort of uh, quite busy with what's going on um, with launching of the book globally. Um, as, a, as well as a lot of tours um, and then you know you've got the movie coming up and then the theatrical play coming up which no one really knows and I shouldn't have said that either. Um, oh, well, you know, I can't just help a few it. journalists here, it's okay, it won't go further than this tent. So, <laughs> so it's, uh, it, it's, it's pretty full on and uh, you know I've also got, like I said before, I've got my family and my family business to take care of um, as well as having a family in India too. So I've got my hands pretty well full for the you know, next probably five, six, seven years with uh, a lot of things going. And it's a great uh, window of opportunity. And I feel very humble and touched by it too. So, as well as you guys being here too. And uh, on that note, I think we have to wrap up the session. Um, so, uh, I wanted to thank all of you very much for coming to the session. Uh, Gaitra actually has this one-on-one -on -one session with Sharon tomorrow afternoon talking about entirely about her book. And sorry, you have another session coming up later this week, right? Yeah, on Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Monday, on Monday. So you can uh, catch them both later on uh, during this festival. And uh, please join me in thanking Gaitra Bahadur and Sarah Bareilly for spending this hour with us.